Hello my friends, it is May 3rd, 2019, and today we're talking about the new trailer for Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. The game was dated for a release on June 25th, 2019. It's been a long time coming, but the trailer in and of itself, which you're watching right now, is one of the most refreshing video game trailers I've seen in a really long time, and I wish the game industry would do more stuff like this. As you well know, the internet loves to crap on everything and anything, and loves to share its opinion no matter how harsh. Uh, as the team behind the Sonic movie is learning right now, but sometimes those complaints and frustration are warranted, and uh, it seems like that's the case with Bloodstained, because the development team was listening. This latest trailer goes out of its way to showcase the complaints that people had about graphics, about dialogue, about uh, visual themes and colors, and a whole bunch of different things. And uh, the team wanted to showcase the game now and say, look, we're listening. We've heard the things that you thought were bad about the game, and we're working to improve them. And the comparisons show, a, I think, at least from a visual standpoint, a much better looking game. I wasn't one of the ones who was complaining about it beforehand. I haven't had any hands-on time with a demo or anything like that. I love Igarashi's games, so I'm getting this day one. But I know that those complaints were out there, and this trailer, I think, does a lot to show that, yes, the team has been working hard to address those issues. Tabin10 on Go Nintendo says, Wow, looks a lot better than before. I am sold on it now. I will be buying this. And that sentiment has been going around the internet a lot today in reaction to this trailer. People are impressed with what they've seen. But I think more importantly, it's the fact that this trailer exists. We don't see this kind of honesty often from the game industry. It's very few and far between, and seeing it is so refreshing. Now, you can't feed every troll that's out there, but obviously the team did agree with some of the people who were complaining that the game wasn't up to snuff, and they put out a trailer that addressed that head-on openly, and a lot of developers won't do that. We get the usual PR responses, and you know, maybe a development team would like to address it, but the publisher won't let them. But yeah, a lot of bland PR responses that don't do anything but make the fan base more frustrated. Here's the complete opposite, a company uh, directly addressing all the complaints, showcasing in their new trailer what they're trying to do to, to fix those issues, and saying, this is what we've done, hopefully you enjoy it and you see an improvement. I can't tell you how much I respect that. Hopefully what we see in this trailer is reflected in the final game, I would imagine it is. Uh, this is Igarashi's first project since being kicked out of Konami, so, uh, you know, he obviously doesn't want to put a bad game out there. He He's uh, got a lot of money invested in this project from Kickstarter, so he knows there's all those people who put in millions and millions of dollars and he's not going to be like, let's just crap out this game. It's important to him, and it's his first time doing something on this scope and scale outside of Konami, so there were things to be learned, and I'm sure his projects from here on out will only get better, but the fact that he was involved with putting together this trailer and being open, honest, and forward about the situation, I respect it so much. I'd love to hear what you think of this trailer, uh, if it's made you interested in the game where you weren't before, if you lost interest because of previous gameplay but now you're back on board, just let me know what you think of the game. And also, the trailer, wouldn't it be nice if more companies did things like this? I think it would, but I unfortunately think it's not going to be the case, so I guess it just makes something like this that much more special. Alright my friends, that's today's video. I will be back, uh, I don't know, well, well I'm doing a podcast on Saturday, that's for sure. Maybe there'll be another video sometime before then, but either way, uh, I hope you have a lovely weekend. Play some games, hang out with friends and family, take a rest. You deserve it, and I'll see you in the next video.